So anytime I see somebody who's done something great, I know that they've been through the pain that 90% of people are not willing to go. Man, it comes with a lot of work, but it's worth it. The things that I've been through, you know, it, hey, man, it might have, it have broke many people's heart and many people will to continue. But for me, it's only empowering because when I ask for the success, I ask for the side effects that come along with it. When you go to your doctor and you ask them for a medicine and they like, you know, this is what you want, that comes with side effects. Doctor, they, hey, you, you get the medicine. I'm going to prescribe it to you. But you know it comes with these side effects. So when those side effects come, you can't complain because it's what you asked for. Because you said that's what you needed. So if you think that that new car, if you think that that new job, if you think that that person you with, if you think that this destination, if you think whatever it is, ask for what you want. But just know that it comes with something. Everything comes with something. <laughs> Everything requires a give and take, especially things that are great and are worth it. Just understand that sometimes you got to the thing you got to sacrifice may be pride. It may be currency, it may be ego, it may be time, right? It, it may be some of your own sanity. <laughs> so you have to always weigh if the thing that you want is worth it. Think about all this. See, people don't think about the future. They think about what they want. That comes what, with what they want. Think about, are you willing to go through all of the side effects? Are you willing to go through everything? That comes along with what you're asking for. I thought about this. Day and night, when I was coming up with my impact for the world, and I said, you know that's going to put you on this list. You know that these people come at you this way. You know that it's going to come with these kind of mistakes. You know that people going to make up stuff. You know that you're going to have all of this temptation. You know you're going to have a lot. And I still, I still say yes. I still say yes. So when I have to deal with it, I better deal with it, right? Because I asked for it. That's why they say, be careful what you ask for, because you might just get it. But you ignore what's going to inevitably have to come with it. So expect the lonely nights. It, 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 you know what? Expect all of the good, but prepare for all of the bad. I'll say that. Expect all. All of the good. Think about everything that can possibly go right. Then prepare for everything that could possibly go wrong. It's the greatest advice I can give you. And I want you to think about the greatest case scenario in the world. of Everything that can possibly come out of what you want. And then, of course, you got to think about the flip side and prepare for everything that could possibly go wrong. And try to think beyond it. I mean, think like be so fortified and so prepared because this is where I have to be in life. I have to be prepared for everything. And the only way to truly be prepared for everything is to is to walk with God and to do what God tells you to do. And you have to be obedient even if you don't have understanding. You know, that's my master. So if so if God tells me to do something and I'm not obedient, then I have to take the consequence of my disobedience. And I've been disobedient many times. I've been disobedient many times. And I haven't taken the consequences for those. You know? So, I, I, I have to set the record straight though with them and say, man, I don't intend to continue to be disobedient. I appreciate the grace that you've given me. Because you know, uh, you 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 already know how hard headed I was gonna be. You know, I had to work through all of my imperfections. You know, I had to go through trials and tribulations. You know, I had to go through the good, the bad, the ugly. You know, we have to, you know, um, you know, uh, uh, go through the failures. You know, we had to go through bad business partners, bad deals. You know, we had to figure this thing out. We had to go through all of those sleepless nights. We had to go through fights and trials and tribulations. You know, you know, I had to make those repeated mistakes when I knew better. But I didn't heal, so I couldn't change. Because 
it had not manifested within me because what you know can be completely different than what you do if you don't connect and root the shadow self. Because many people think they know what they're doing. Many people think they got control of yourself, but you can't control the pain from a scar that hasn't healed. You can be aware that the scar is there, but your body will continue to send those signals because it's like, I don't care if you're aware consciously. I'm going to still remind you just in case you forget. And it's not until you completely heal, you don't feel that pain. It's the same thing with self. When you go through things on a non-physical level, when you go through things on an emotional level, you're constantly triggered. You're constantly feeling that which you haven't healed from, which constantly makes you react and revert to certain behavior. So no matter what you consciously tell yourself, it does not matter. It has to actually take root on the level that manifests itself, right, as change. So none of us is perfect. But, you know, when we get to that place where we start healing and we get better, we get better at each time. And every time you heal from one thing, you learn you got to heal from another. <laughs> and, you know, so it's like that's the journey. The journey is heal through it. Slow down. Allow yourself the time to be the greatest version. Allow yourself to be the greatest. So that's the message for the day. It was on the mind. Um, I just wanted to put that out there. Slow down. Slow down. Move on your time. You know? Move on God's time. You be all right. But what they say, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. But they never said no weapon will be formed against you. Peace.